Okay, this is just a quick review on OBS Studio. Um, you can actually get it at obsproject.com. I've tried it a couple times on my laptop. It's actually a pretty nice program, um, but here's the version. It's, I think it's up to version 19. Um, and it didn't work the whole time I tried it. I worked on it for on and off for about a day uh, and would just get a blank screen, blank screen, blank screen. Then I saw uh, people using this particular OBS studio, uh, but it was like version 15 and uh, it looked to be working okay. So here's what you do. Um, don't download this 19 because it just, I mean, it's, people get blank screens all the time on it. Uh, if you go up here to download, It'll give you an option. You scroll down to go to previous releases. It's going to go to GitHub, and it's go to previous releases. 19.0.3 is the one that they're on right now. Uh, that was released six days ago. Um, not a fan. But if you go clear down at the bottom and hit the next button, we're getting to 16. I downloaded version 15.4. This is the one I downloaded, 15.4 right here. And if you go down just a little bit more, I just downloaded this on my uh, Windows. I got a Dell that I just picked up. And um, I downloaded this one and it worked like a champ. So I would suggest going to version 15.4, downloading it, and uh, you'll be able to do everything that I'm doing here right now, including the video uh, at the bottom and the screenshot and everything. So um, yeah, I suggest getting there that way. And hopefully that answers your questions. This is the quick fix for the uh, black screen on OBS. You don't have to goof around with anything, just download an earlier version and you shouldn't have any problems. Hope that helps.